Beloved, God bless you for tuning in to listen to the word of God, which Proverbs 4 verse 22 says is life to those who find them and its health to all their flesh. Beloved, let us continue to read the Bible, to study it and meditate on it daily as it is the only thing, beloved, which has answers and solutions to all our problems. And so, beloved, today we are continuing our studies on the book of Genesis. And today we are studying Genesis chapter 46 for the past month we've been learning about the life of Joseph and his family and last time we studied Genesis chapter 45 we learned that Joseph finally revealed himself to his brothers and told them to go into the land of Canaan to bring his father and his entire family to come and settle in the land of Egypt the Bible says that when Jacob heard that his son, Joseph, was still alive, he was stunned. And when he saw the cart that Joseph had sent to get him, the Bible says that his spirit revived. And so, beloved, if you missed this study or any of the other studies, please watch it from this channel and please subscribe so that you'll be notified whenever a lesson becomes available. And so, beloved, let's go on to today's study and find out if Jacob, who is now 130 years old, is able to make this trip to Egypt to see his long-lost beloved son, Joseph. And so, beloved, verse 1 of Genesis chapter 46 says, Jacob packed up all he had and went to Beersheba, where he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. Beersheba is a place where Jacob's father, Isaac, and his grandfather, Abraham, had lived before. It's a place where both of them had offered sacrifices to God and where God has spoken to them in the past. And up until this point, Jacob has not heard anything from God, whether to go into the land of Egypt or not. And so he goes to Beersheba to offer sacrifices to God, hoping to hear God speak to him for directions. Jacob does the right thing to go to Beersheba to seek guidance from the Lord on the journey he is making. And so, beloved, let's continue reading and find out if the Lord speaks to Jacob. And so in verse 2, after Jacob had offered the sacrifices to God, verse 2 it says that God spoke to him in a vision at night and called, Jacob, Jacob, yes, here I am, he answered. I am God, the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go to Egypt. I will make your descendants a great nation there. I will go with you to Egypt and I will bring your descendants back to this land. For God to say to Jacob not to be afraid meant that Jacob was afraid for going on this trip to Egypt. And the reason why Jacob would be afraid is that not only does he not speak the language of the Egyptian people, but the Egyptian people saw themselves as superior to the people of Israel and would not even sit around the same table with them. The Bible uses the word detestable to show how they felt about them, that the Egyptians detest the Israelites. And this and more are all the reasons that is making Jacob afraid of going to the land of Egypt. He is unsure of what awaits him. And moreover, he has lived all his life in the land of Canaan. And now he has to take everything into the land of Egypt. This is a very big step, and so he really has reasons to be afraid. But over here, God assures him not to be afraid because he, he God himself, will go with him and bring his descendants back into the land of Canaan. Furthermore, God reaffirms the promise he made to Jacob's father and his grandfather Abraham that he will make his descendants into a great nation. And so, beloved, all these promises are to make Jacob believe that God was indeed with him and would never leave him. And so he had to be bold and courageous to go into this land. And God continues to say in verse 4 that Joseph will be with you 
when you die. And so, beloved, God finally assures Jacob that indeed his beloved son that he thought was dead was alive and he will be by his side when he dies. This is a sweet promise, beloved, that God promised Jacob. And so with all this that God has said to Jacob, Jacob is now bold and confident to take this journey into the land of Egypt. And so, beloved, after God has assured Jacob of all these promises, verse 5 says that Jacob set out from Bathsheba. His sons put him, their small children, and their wives in the cart which the king of Egypt had sent. They took their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in Canaan and went to Egypt. Jacob took all his descendants with him, his sons, his grandsons, his daughters, and his granddaughters. 